Yeah. everybody it's your boy Apa King Carter here bringing you my sixers in my career now I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how my career is going for me this is the second half of the season I am going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers but two things Kyrie Irving is not going to play this game which kind of disappointed me as well as we have a new shooting guard starting on our squad one shooting guard for another has been traded and we now have Courtney Lee and Hollis Thompson we went ahead and go ahead and gave that man a boot. Um, I know in a lot of my old gameplays, you guys seen that Hollis Thompson just could not hit these shots. He he wasn't clutch at all. So I'm guessing maybe the coach saw that because I didn't say anything over social media or none of that. But I'm going to go ahead and take these cookies and... Oh, my God. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I got a little hype. But, yeah, man, I, I flew from the foul line right there, man. 6'3", flying. You know what I'm saying? How long can he be in air? That's, that's all I'm going to say. But I'm going up against LeBron James in this game. Me and him are like scoring machines this game. I don't understand why, but I guess his alpha dog came out every time I scored, he scored, I scored, he scored, he scored, I scored, I scored, he scored. Like, it was crazy, man. But um, games like this really makes me happy because I like the competition, you know. I've been playing up against a couple teams on Hall of Fame, and I've been able to sim out of the third quarter. Once you get up 11 points, it's like, why even play the rest of this? But check out the three-point shot, the kick of the leg. I think I'm using James Harden jump shot this match. So, you know, if you want to check that out, that's pretty good. Check out that James Harden. But I don't know what Thompson thought he was thinking because your boy takes cookies every day of the week. I don't need no milk. I'm lactose intolerant out here. I don't even know why he thought he was a guard for a minute. But playing up against Deli Adova wasn't hype or wasn't like it was lackluster man like playing him against Delhi, he's not aggressive he doesn't like to take too many shots but when he does he does make them it's pretty good but that's usually because i leave him on an island i really don't feel like okay Delhi's gonna drop 40 on me I don't, I don't really feel like that and plus like once i get in his mitt i'm in his mitt all the way and i can't be stopped but I'm putting little moves on Delhi. I could have got the foul call right there if I would have just went up with the shot, man. But you know me, man. I'm, I'm hard-headed. I'm one of those guys that say, you know what? I'm not going to cheese the game as much as I should. I'm just only going to do it when I'm losing badly. <laughs> but, uh, hey, man, I just wanted to let y'all know, your boy is under the weather. Oh, man, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I've been getting sick. And I don't know, like, I'm working with one nostril right now. Um, I'm trying not to sniffle that joint. So right now, like as I'm doing this commentary, there is not literally about to touch my lip because it's coming down from my nose. Okay, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But no, I am definitely sick, and uh, me missing that shot shows it there. Uh, <laughs> one thing I will say is, once I get to the playoffs, I'm not sure if I want to 
like show you guys every single game in the playoffs. But if you guys do want to see every single game play, please let me know. Um, leave it in the comment section to say, yo, post every game from the playoffs. If you don't want to see every game, you just want to see like wins or like some epic losses or epic fails or hype moments, anything like that, you know, just let me know. Maybe I could cut up like one of the gameplays into like a highlight video with some music or something like that. You know, it's just something dope for you guys instead of just a regular commentary. But did you see me put the moves on Emo? Put the moves on that boy hitting with all these. Hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> all right, moving into the second quarter, we are up eight points, holding a nice steady lead. But anything can change when LeBron James is out there. But right now, ain't nothing changing because I'm diving from the line again. You know what I'm saying? I'm like a dude diving all in the coop. You know what I'm saying? I'm flying from wherever. Off the backboard, off the headboard. It doesn't matter. But uh, LeBron James is still putting up points, still draining shots. Now, I don't know why he's so clutch, but never clutch from the foul line. I like As a real man, like I really don't understand like in real life how LeBron James is not clutch from the line. Because it shows in the game as well. You guys saying that he missed a free throw already. But uh, they're going to run a replay. I'm going to show you guys the, the free throw from here. Check this out. He nails one, finally. Okay, cool. But now moving on, we are only up six points. It's all good, man. We just slowly, slowly holding on to this lead. Now, I see the double team coming. Hit my man Okafor, and Okafor is one of the softest big men out there, bro. Like, okay, I know he's on my squad. I know I'm supposed to be, like, a big fan of this dude, but he's soft. He don't dunk nothing, bro. He don't dunk nothing. And even with me coming in for the double team and even the SWAT, I can't stop LeBron James. But we can stop Delia Dover. Get out on the break. You see me moving. I'm like a freight train. I see the alley. -oop. And guess what? LeBron James was nowhere to be found on that play. Look, 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 look at LeBron. He like, man, I don't know what's going on, bro. <laughs> But we finally back up 10, you know what I'm saying? Nice with a double-digit lead. But they call screens a whole lot. And I don't know how they left LeBron James on the island in the corner. I just don't understand it. Look at LeBron. LeBron is 7 for 10 right now. But did you see that crossover? And don't call LeBron James. LeBron James crossed. Les, I got to show you. I crossed up Delhi, Left him at half court, mind you. And dunked on LeBron James. But uh, it's 55 to 60. They they are very, very tight knit team. I'm not going to lie about that, man. Every time they get out on a break, they score. And LeBron James is still putting up points. It's 11 to 2 run. I don't know how to stop these guys. Now, we did give a little time out there, you know. Came back down, decided, you know, come with something small. And, yo, did I tell y'all that Limitless Range and Deadeye are GOAT? Like, have I told anybody that both of those badges are, like, all that? Yeah, so basically, your boy's getting these badges out here, just to let you guys know. And things are looking good, but LeBron James answers back. God damn. I don't know what I'm going to do against LeBron. Like, I might have to just switch with him and say, yo, I got him for the rest of the game. Because I don't know what to do against this dude besides double teaming all game. Now, I see Courtney Lee cut to the basket. I throw the oop. And what was JR thinking jumping like that? He ain't back up. He ain't go over to the player that was cut. He just jumped in the air. was like, oh, I'm going to get this one. I'm gonna, oh, oh, no, never mind. I ain't going to get that one too far. But see me putting on the moves against Delhi, Hitting with another crossover. God damn. Yo, did I jump over that man? I know I spread my legs, but did I jump over him, though? I think I jumped over somebody. I'm, I'm just saying y'all might have to check that replay. Now, I went in with a stupid layup animation. I don't know why 2K does this to me all the time. And Shepard was able to answer back on the other end. We're only up two points, man. Now, we got back up five. You know what I'm saying? Your boy had to put in, I guess, my overalls and just go to work because I don't know what's going on in this game. But your boy don't care. I'm shooting faders out here. Microwave. Limitless. That eye, fade ace, all the badges activated right there, all of them. And yeah, by the way, I'm, I'm subbed in as um, point guard, and I don't know why, but Shump just can't handle your boy because your boy's pulling another James Harden out this hat. Yeah, that's right, man. James Harden jump shot is pretty cash, pretty cash offline. Not gonna lie. Now, Jeremy Grant has came up big for me. I'm not even going to lie. Without him, I wouldn't have been able to do as much as I could because he's actually been able to handle the small forward and sometimes power forward position. But right there, me and Okafor linked up again for one of his beautiful little cute layups. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why this dude be doing these layups. But Noel wants to get the pick. And oh, LeBron! 
Now, I know that wasn't a contact dunk. I know it wasn't no balls in nobody's face, but that right there was a statement. I don't know about y'all, but I was pretty hyped when I dunked on LeBron. But LeBron is coming back down. Hit, yo, he hit Jeremy Grant with the craziest crossover I've ever seen. Jeremy wasn't even guarding him and he got crossed. That was a crazy crossover, dog. Now, it's 119 to 107. A lot of people might think that this game is over, but LeBron don't give no Fs, bro. He's not giving up, dog. Brings it back within 10. He's trying to bring it back down to single digits. And check this out. LeBron on a fast break. Yo, listen. I don't understand who this LeBron James is, but he plays way too much like the real LeBron James in real life, dog. Because for some reason, LeBron James kicked at the love for three and was able to knock that joint down. Now, me right there, that was a little heat check. I wanted to see if I can get back up 10. And LeBron James said, I'm going to show you how to do this, son. <laughs> <laughs> Made a three and he got 46 points. Holy shit, LeBron James, yo. But we got about two minutes left, and I just wanted to let LeBron know that this game was damn near all over. So, you know, I'm about to cut back door, pop back out, and they didn't want to pass me the ball there, but it's all good, man. Jaleel Okafor was somehow able to get the layup to go. I guess since he does so many layups during a game, layups come easy to him i don't know but it's 20, 27 to 117 we are back up 10 the stat line is disrespectful because i got seven turnovers man i i don't understand this game i gotta get 20 assists to win the game but what comes with those assists are turnovers but look at lebron lebron bruh calm yourself down you're gonna catch the l anyway but damn now, I'm out on the break. You know what I'm saying? They want to call a four-court press, and Delhi just ain't faster than me. And Smith, I don't know why he didn't shoot the ball. It's probably because we're going to win anyway. But me, I have no sportsmanship. I have none of that. I am a savage. So guess what's about to happen to Delhi? Guess what's about to happen to Delhi? I'm about to put the moves on this boy. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, oh, back up. Hold up. Hold up. Cash. Fucking money. Game time. You still lost by double digits. Bye. But I want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are closing in on 400,000 subscribers. I just want to say thank you for the long journey. Your boy been doing this for a while now. And I'm pretty hyped. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, the Hall of Fame verification is about to pop up on the screen because I know how y'all like to do. If it ain't 2.0, I don't want to see this game play. <laughs> but this is your boy IKC signing out. Hope everybody have a nice day.